So you're probably aware that America has some interesting, if not a little bit strange, roadside attractions. And I know there's a ton of them. You might be familiar with the world's largest ball of yarn, or the giant lumberjack on the side of the road. So we're going to go check out one of those today. So stay tuned and we'll show you which one we're going to check out. In this episode, we're back in Nevada. We check out a roadside attraction we didn't expect to find out in the middle of the desert and visit Ash Meadows National Wildlife Refuge, the largest remaining oasis in the Mojave Desert. The last time you saw us in Eugene, we discovered Oregon-covered bridges, ate lots of yummy takeout, checked out local waterfalls, and the beautiful Oregon coast. All right, we're gonna hop in the truck and head out. All right, we see it. This is just so good, I don't know how you couldn't just go and search this out. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> well, here we are. I'm glad this isn't our only stop for the day, but uh, since we're headed this way, why not? Doesn't get any better than that. All right, there she is in all her glory. <laughs> it's a cow. It's a cow. Officially called Big Bovine of the Desert. <laughs> and we'll have to show you her boyfriend is across the street. So we are right on the California-Nevada state line, and this interesting roadside attraction is 20 feet tall and just kind of right on the side of the road. So it's worth stopping if you're coming through here. It's a fun state line marker. But it's not the only thing that we're out here to see today. The next stop is going to be the Ash Meadows National Wildlife Reserve, and that's where we're headed next. We are here at the west side of the Ash Meadows National Wildlife Refuge run by the Fish and Wildlife Service. And the reason it's called Ash Meadows apparently is there used to be a lot of ash trees around here but not anymore. This is the largest oasis in the Mojave, which is pretty impressive because it's so dry out here. That's really surprising to me because I had no idea there was an oasis out here. You look around and you think... Well, there's not much water, but apparently there is an underground aquifer that feeds this area and the water comes up through springs. So we're going to go see some water in the middle of the desert. There's supposed to be a bunch of rare species here, so we'll go check it out. So we're at Devil's Hole now. We're going to walk over and check it out. This is apparently where the endangered pupfish are. So I wonder if we'll get a chance to see any of them. We'll take a look. We have driven to the furthest end of the park from the entrance that we came into, and then we're gonna work our way back. That's the plan. So the cave for the fish is way down there, down in that hole. You can kind of barely see it from here. You see anything moving in there? No, we looked. Maybe we should have brought some binoculars. <laughs> My eyes aren't really that good. I see some shapes in there and I think maybe those are some fish holding really still, but I don't think so. I think it's just debris on the surface of the water. But the sign over there showed the water, the cave system goes down pretty deep. So those fish could be down out of sight. There was also that entrance further up on the cliff face that other people are hiking to. I don't think we'll go up there. We want to see some other things before the sun sets and the park closes. But, you know, maybe maybe people are seeing the fish up there. It's kind of cool. I wonder if the water level here changes at all. It does. It says it fluctuates a little bit, but uh, not that much. Let's see. Four feet, so, something like that. That's why it helps to read the sign. Yeah, all right, some endangered pupfish down in there. Somewhere. Fishies, where are you?
to the sign. The spring here is called the King's Pool. We'll take the boardwalk and they have pupfish there too. Maybe we'll see some this time. Quiet and listen. So this Point of Rocks tour here is just so striking because there's so much life here. It's just so neat how you're driving through the desert. It's just kind of dead and dry everywhere. And then you end up at this oasis where it's just trees and plants and flowers and these little babbling springs as they go through and all the fish in the pools and the colors in the water are just so cool. So we kind of hightailed it here from the Point of Rocks boardwalk because the sun was going down and everything closes when, when that happens. Well, plus this is a beautiful place to catch the sunset. It's Crystal Reservoir and the mountains back here with the reservoir behind us. Perfect sunset spot. So we'll sign off here and catch some other things in the area. Good night. Good night. The best part. <laughs> so we kind of hightailed it here from, what was the last place? I don't remember. <laughs> uh.